Hey, how's it going everybody? Brandon J here from Melda Production and in this video, I'll show you how to set up M-Track Align in Reaper. M-Track Align is a powerful audio alignment tool built on ARA2 technology designed to automatically sync the timing of two or more audio tracks with identical or similar patterns like a lead vocal and backing vocals or a video dialogue track and its dubbing. Manually aligning these can be a time-consuming process, often taking hours or sometimes even days, depending on how many tracks you're working with. For reference, I'm using Reaper 7, the latest version of Reaper at the time of this recording. However, everything that I'll show you should still apply to future versions of Reaper as well. So, let's get into it. Alright, we're now in Reaper and as you can see, we have three tracks here. Each one is a unique take of the same vocal line from a song. If we zoom in, you'll notice slight differences in timing between them. Also, there are amplitude variations. For example, this section here is louder compared to the other two and up here. This one also peaks slightly higher than the rest. But for this tutorial, we're not focusing on amplitude. Our main objective is to fix the timing and alignment. So let's bring in M-Track Align. To get started, open your FX browser and search for M-Track Align. You can either drag it directly onto one of the tracks, it'll be added to the mixer automatically, or you can go to the effects button on any track, click it and select M-Track Align from there. Once you've added it, simply select all the tracks you want to align. They'll appear inside M-Track Align's interface. Let me resize the window real quick. There we go. Now take a look. Not only were the clips imported, but the plugin also preserved their track names and order from Reaper. For example, if I rename this track Fox 11, you'll see that reflected right here in M Track Align. Also, if I move tracks to a different positions in the arrangement and reselect everything, the visual order updates accordingly. By default, the topmost track is automatically set as the guide track and the others will follow it. You can easily change the guide by simply clicking on the track you want to lead the alignment. The one highlighted in purple is the current guide. Now before aligning, there are a few things to keep in mind. The first thing is precision. This is your global precision control. It determines how tightly the plugin aligns the audio. For vocals like this, I usually leave it around 50%. You'll also have the option to fine tune the alignment for each of the track individually using the per clip precision settings right here. But most of the time, the global precision knob is enough. All right, so before we align, let's play it first so you can hear it before alignment. In the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning. Oh, baby, your body is calling. It just wants me right back. Now let's go ahead and click align. As you can see, the plugin processes the audio and realigns the timing. Notice how it stretches certain parts slightly to make everything tighter and more cohesive. Now let's play back the audio so you can hear the result. In the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning. Oh baby, your body is calling. It just wants me right back. So as you have heard, the timing is now much tighter, making the overall take sound more cohesive and polished. And that brings us to the end of this video. For Mac users, keep in mind to use the VSD3 version of the plugin in order for the ARA to work. And if you don't have M-Track Align yet, there's a 15-day trial available in our site. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'll get to them as soon as we can.